Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. In this channel, we're talking anything that has to do with health, be it physical, spiritual, emotional, mental, financial, as well as relationships. In this video, we come across the Bogotovejani, who is very heartbroken because of having toxic friendship. Debo Khotobejani tells us of the death threats that she's getting from the people she doesn't know, people who are sent by someone she knows very well. Debo says one of her friends gave away her numbers to these people, uh, putting her life as well as the life of her family members at risk. What type of a friend is this? Let's watch and listen to Deboho as she takes us through her painful experience. And at the same time, let's learn from her about friendships. There are many other, other um, faceless blogs. If I was going to ever, ever think about doing something like that, I'd probably do it on camera. And to be honest with you, I don't really care about what's going on in everybody's life. I'm so tired of people being concerned about my life. I actually want peace and I'm not giving anybody anything about me. So, the person that released my number online that is allowing people to do that, I hope you're happy with yourself. Um, you've put me and my family again at risk and um, I wish this could end and everybody could just live their life and actually go back to enjoying Instagram and not worrying about what other people are doing with their lives. So at this point right now, I am super done with all this crap. If somebody wants to come and kill me, please come and stop calling me. And um, I know who you are. I know who, you, who you're sending. Um, I have my suspects and I have submitted that to the police and to the South African Embassy, and I've submitted it to all the relevant sources. Not that it matters because it's not like the police ever, they want to see you dead first. It's better when you are rest in peace before they actually catch the criminals that are doing these kind of things to us. So, whatever you're doing is not going to work. I'm not going to be afraid. Um, I'm not guilty of anything. So, please fuck off and actually leave me alone. And then, we all know that I'm too busy if I'm not in Paris, if I'm not in Accra, if I'm not in Nigeria, if I'm not traveling the world, I'm at home hosting, or I'm somewhere in the world living my life. I don't give a fuck about what anybody does in South Africa, to be honest with you. So, you guys can continue having all this like weird stuff happening there, but I'm not involved. We all know who it is. And also, it's the whole thing of saying that the whole thing about bullies and stuff like that. As you guys can see, all this negativity has created more bullies and more people that are going to be putting people down online instead of bringing each other up as women. If you have a sister or you have a mother or a cousin and, you know, you, you could teach them that all of this conduct is wrong. I'm good, I am healthy, I am happy, I am safe, and I do not own salty. And you know what, I don't condone anything that's always written up about on blogs. I really don't think that it's cool <laughs> that people's lives should be destroyed or because I've experienced a full breath of being on blogs and I feel like everybody should just not be pointing in each other and they need to resolve their circles because it's, I realized that when I had a bad circle, that's when business used to come out. Once now that they do not have a big circle, there's no business that's coming out. Yes. So on the 29th of March, we'll be going to court. Um, I 
just I was advised by my legal team not to speak up speak on this matter. Um, I will definitely be giving you guys an update because you guys have been really supportive. And um, yeah, please bear with me. Guys, I've seen so much drama, I really am scared. I don't want to lie. So, I think this is my new look, guys. The hair is giving the edges. K100 products, the glue. Oof, show me this hair. Oof. Oof. It's like wake up in the morning. Hey, daddy. <laughs> so one thing that I've definitely learned, besides being open around friends or telling people everything. I think it's important to keep things to yourself. Secondly, your circle can get you killed. We've seen it very many times. You need to really realize the people that you are around and understand who they are before you let them into your life. Like people need to be really interviewed. You need to check their background. You need to even do background tests, criminal tests on people because for example, you've heard of, I was with a friend, something happened, like, okay, like, for example, like, Quavo, and, um, that guy from Migos, what's the guy that died, Quavo, and, um, the one that died, his friend was having an argument, and he got shot, um, so, you really need to be around people that have your same temperament, you need to be around people that are, that are fearful, and that have something to lose, And um, this is what I've learned. And also just don't allow people into your space. Unfortunately, even if you're a sweet person, people that you meet on the streets don't have good intentions for you. Take off, yes. Mm. Even, even, there's a lot of stories of, most of the time when people get arrested or busted or killed, it's because they were friends with the wrong person and they were there at the wrong time and they were involved in trying to help. Once you see that this person's got a bad temperament as a friend, I think it's very good to walk away. You know, um, it's very important for you to walk away. Um, and it's okay to be by yourself. You don't have to save the world. And I think that the schools have taught us that we have to be a group. We have to have friends. We have to, you know, uh, belong. You don't have to belong. You don't have to be friends with anybody. You don't have to associate yourself with anybody. And one thing I realize is that sometimes we forget that even if you are powerful and you're a brand, People will tell you, why are you associated with that with a certain person? Why are you associated with that certain person? And you'll be like, oh, no, I think they're a nice person. But it actually can cost you a lot of money. So it's better not to have association. Like now, even if I have friends, I generally don't post my friends. I generally don't. There's a lot of girls on IG that I've unfollowed, but I'm still cool with them. We don't have any issues. Because I just don't want that whole thing of how to show me somebody or you follow someone on IG. IG is not real life. Instagram is not real life. I personally don't think it's a good idea to have friends. You can have uh, one, one or two friends, that's enough. I mean, obviously you can't like be a loner, you know, but your family, your sisters, Hope we have learned one or two things from Deborah's experience, especially on friendships. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Hope you like this video before you leave. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thank you very much for watching. Love you. Bye.